Good Sunday morning. Here's what's going on. We have light snow still falling here in Rochester. It's just after 9 o'clock this morning as I record this. Uh, kind of a brisk north breeze. 19 the temperature now in Rochester. We have 8.4 inches of snow on the weather patio right now. One of the, some of the heaviest totals we have seen area wide right in alignment with our area, north side of Rochester and parts of Dodge County, parts of Winona counties. Uh, those are where the heaviest snow amounts have been. Also, I'm, I suspect areas of Wabasha County look similar. I'm trying to look at some of the numbers that are coming in uh, from the Weather Service right now. Uh, yeah, there's quite a bit of snow to report. You know, Chatfield, eight inches. Uh, Grand Meadow 8 inches. So they line with what we have here, uh, line up pretty well with that. Uh, I'm meteorologist Ted Schmidt. Uh, I, it was a treacherous journey to get here into our studio uh, this morning. What a mess. I That last uh, 100 yards or so, as I got into the parking lot, just to get in the parking lot was was interesting. Got off Bandel Road and had to do a little Dukes of Hazard maneuver uh, fishtailing. Uh, but I got in and it worked. Uh, but it, as I came in, we had about seven inches of snow uh, on the ground, and the snow plows had not gotten out yet. I saw a few of them going the opposite direction on the other side of the four lane, uh, but um, I think they're out and about now that we've seen evidence of that already. So things slowly getting better. The snow is much lighter now than it was earlier. As we get close to noon, we'll be completely seeing the snow wind down. Afternoon looks dry uh, for the most part, and uh, we have plenty of time today before sunset to do some snow removal. So that is the blessing here in this, and that is a quick hitter. Of huge dump of snow, uh, dumping of snow in a sh short amount of time, but it's all in the morning. Uh, I, sorry that it had to interfere with a lot of church plans and things like that. Church services, many of those uh, postponed or canceled, unfortunately, but uh, at least at this point, traffic not as busy as it typically is on a weekday. Uh, so road crews are able to get out and about and do what they have to do on a morning like this. Uh, again, here in Rochester, uh, snow continues. If you look at the radar, uh, the heaviest uh, snow, that darkest coloring has moved down to the east. The back edge is getting close. Another hour or two, I'm hopeful, we will be done with the accumulation. Certainly not much more on top of what we've seen. 8.4 inches here at the studio. Look for about nine, nine and a half, maybe 10 inches of snow overall out of this for Northwest Rochester. Uh, six to 12 inches area wide in the pink. That's a winter storm warning that goes in effect uh, for uh, really uh, much of the area until three this afternoon. Totals uh, in the way of snowfall. Uh, this is just a snapshot of what we've seen. Some number numbers have been coming in the last hour. Uh, Elba, Rochester, Douglas, Similar amounts we saw at Chatfield had about eight inches, Grand Meadow eight inches. Uh, look at Mound Prairie, that's in Houston County, and that, that's across the border from uh, Decor, and they both, those areas, less than four inches so far. So it gives you an idea of what has happened. Four to eight inches from Decor up to maybe Interstate 90, north of there. You see that purple area, eight to 12 inches. Uh, for the most part, less than 12 inches. We have not seen any signs that that's going to happen at this point. Uh, that was the forecast from uh, the middle of that heaviest band as it was coming in. Uh, we had quickly picked up a bunch of snow, and I thought maybe a couple of inches. I do think we'll get uh, beyond nine inches, perhaps 10 inches here in Rochester overall for the official total. Uh, here's uh, CC Heights. Here's our Lewis Denaldo camera. Light snow continues there. Road conditions getting better. There's Highway 52 just outside our studio with our Lewis Denaldo camera. Uh, and again, we're looking at snow continuing in Austin as well, but very light snow there at this point. Almost done. Visibility getting a lot better with the snow as it lets up. Two and a half miles in Rochester and Austin. A brisk northeast breeze. 19 the temperature, winds 13 miles per hour, 6 is the wind chill. Uh, temperatures will climb a few more degrees, kind of leveling off, I think, in the mid-20s this afternoon. Air pressure is steady, 30.02 inches of mercury area-wide. Temperature is close to 20, if not a little better than that. Uh, 21 in Albert Lee, where it is uh, pretty much uh, done snowing. Uh, maybe a couple of flakes going there for another 10 or 15 minutes. At the very back edge, as I look at uh, radar on our other monitor here. Uh, 18 in Plainview. Uh, so today, heavy morning snow, and, and at this point, not even heavy. Light snow for the remainder of the morning. Afternoon looks better. We may see a pocket or two of freezing drizzle. Not a widespread event as it stands now, so I hesitate to say completely dry, but dry in the way of additional snowfall. Uh, some sunshine tomorrow and Tuesday. Wednesday may start with, su with some sunshine, but snow in the afternoon at this point. A clipper system, a couple of inches uh, at most. Saturday, uh, maybe a little more snow, maybe... It's hard early to say, but it does not look like a major event. So light to moderate snowfall there. High risk future cast watching the snow for another couple of hours. Then by noon, it's maybe flurries at most. 
We're dry in the afternoon with kind of a chilly breeze around 15 to 20 miles per hour. Not strong enough to do widespread uh, blowing of snow, but still enough to make for a cold, uh, a brisk wind. 18 for that morning commute uh, here for the next hour or so. But light snow, noon until maybe one in a couple of spots. Clearing skies this evening, temperatures mid 20s. Here's future cast. There goes the snow. Mid afternoon is all in our rear view mirrors. Skies will clear just after maybe midnight tonight. And then we'll have some chilly sunshine tomorrow. Kind of a breezy day. Winds up to 20 miles per hour at times ahead of a cold front tomorrow mid 20s after a morning low in the single digits. A couple flurries north of us Tuesday. I think we'll have at least occasional sun. And then as high pressure gets closer, we'll have some sun later on for Tuesday. Uh, afternoon. Uh, Wednesday starts with sun. We'll have some snow later in the day. Again, here's our Lewis Auto camera. And again, totals around the area uh, anywhere. Boy, the totals, the range is anywhere from three to about maybe uh, eight and a half, nine inches so far. Add another inch or two on top of that again today. Another look at the forecast, the snowfall. 8 to 12 inches in the purple area surrounding uh, Highway 14 and, and Interstate 90. Back edge of the snow uh, approaching the area. Uh, brisk northeast breeze. Forecast high of 26, 10 to 12 inches possible. Looks like about 10 inches in Rochester, I think, the storm total uh, for much of the of uh, the Rochester area. Uh, that looks to be kind of the high end of what we'll see area-wide. Rochester, the heart of that heaviest band of snow uh, earlier today. Uh, again, snow for the morning, dry this afternoon. Gradual clearing, lighter winds tonight, 5 degrees overnight. And the Seven-day forecast, cold sunshine tomorrow and Tuesday, light afternoon snow Wednesday, and then uh, next Saturday, a chance of light snow, uh, but at this point, not as big as this system. And again, it looks like we are going to see uh, yeah, things quiet more often than not, and certainly uh, better travel conditions beyond this morning in the next few days. Uh, be safe on the roads, and uh, we'll see you right back here tomorrow. And of course, we'll keep you up to date on the latest on the storm system uh, as uh, we see uh, the necessary uh, necess necessity arise, shall we say. Have a great day, everybody.